that we see this being a software that will be with us until maybe as long as I'm in this game before I, as long as I'm here until I retire. <laughs> this is somebody else's problem. But, <laughs> um, but we, we saw it as a software that we could grow with. Um, equipment maintenance and equipment costs were non-existent. Um, so I uh, had no idea what piece of equipment was costing us, how much to maintain it, whether we were making any money with that piece of equipment. Um, so with Timberline, we now have those um, those tools to, to provide us things. When the shop manager comes in and says, well, it's, you know, we need to get rid of that vehicle because it's costing us a lot of money, um, now we can look at a report and say, yeah, it is costing us a lot of money, and it's not just based on gut feel anymore. It's been in the shop five times in the last two months, and we spent ten thousand dollars on it, or we spent five hundred bucks on it. You know, never mind. You know, it could have been in five times, and it could have been minor stuff, or it could have been major stuff. And now we actually have the information to know. Yeah, it's time for that one to go away. <laughs> yeah, we've got roughly fifty pickups and heavy trucks all together. There's probably another fifty pieces of major equipment. We track. All of our smaller stuff too. We've got small equipment, um, compaction equipment, jumping jacks, just uh, scaffolding and stuff that we use on the development side, on the, on the vertical construction side that we keep track of uh, for managing that stuff, for renting it out to the projects and stuff. So we cost it out to projects and owners, and depending on what the uh, the contract with the owner is. So we kind of run internally a small rental shop as well. Mm -hmm. and use Timberline to track all of that and, and record internal revenues.